Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have written a DAO method to get the list of employees. In this video, we'll write a controller method to get the list of employees and we'll test the application. So right now I'm in employee controller class and I'm going to annotate this with the at rest controller. It will make this class as a rest controller. Rest controller. And I'm going to annotate this with the at request mapping for the class level. And I'm going to specify a slash API as a value. Inside this, I'm going to create a method public and this will return the list of employees. So the return rate would be a list of employees. I'm going to call this get. I'm going to annotate this with the add request mapping slash employee. I'm going to import this employee class. Inside this, uh, before that, I need to create a. I need to auto add the employee service private employee service. Employee service. I'm going to annotate this with the auto wire. Inside this, I'll make use of this employee service. I'm going to call the get method. This will return the list of employees. And uh, this should be a get method. So, what I'll do is I'll uh, just remove this. And I'm going to annotate with uh, get mapping and uh, slash employee and save this. Now, before uh, running our application or before uh, we build this application, uh, we need to specify one more thing in our pom.xml. So go to the pom.xml. I'll go to the pom.xml. And here in this uh, properties file, we need to specify one more property, which is a start class. Here we need to specify the fully qualified class name uh, of the main method. So I'm going to copy this entire package name. the package name and paste it right here and dot we need to specify the class name it saves this will take for a while to build the class now I right click on the project and go to Maven and update the project click on this force update our snapshots slash releases and click OK. Now that cross symbol has uh, gone from the project. So now let's right click on the project, go to the run as and click on the Maven build. And I'm going to set the goals as package and click run. And if you open the console, I can see that the project is building uh, first time it will take uh, a few minutes to build the application depending upon your uh, internet speed it has to download the maven dependencies if there is any can see that the failure zero error zero skip zero okay the build success and if you refresh the project you can see that in the target folder you can see that the jar file has been generated okay now I'll go to the main class either you can right click on this and click on the run as Java application or you can directly 
click on this uh, symbol so I'll go with this run as run on Java application and in the console you can see that the project has been running and uh, you can see that the Tomcat initialization with the port 8080 uh, we got some exception let's see protocol handler failed oh, oh my god what is this address already in use all right uh, the address is already in use uh, i think i have using a one more uh, application here so what i need to do is i think this is also yeah this application uh, in one more uh, eclipse i'm uh, running this same application that's why it is giving me an uh, exception so i'm going to stop this now minimize this and uh, now I'll right click on the project and click choose run on run the Java application you can see that the port number is 8080 and this time we should not get any exceptions hopefully yes you can see that the started spring boot application in 13.23 some seconds all right now let's open the postman and uh, localhost 8080 slash api slash employee but right now in the database there are no records for this table for this table so what i'm going to do is right click on this table and choose select rows and here let's insert some records id it should be one name i'm going to name this as b2 tech gender male i think it should be better to give a person name bushan and department development and date of birth it should be in 1992 05 31st and I'll click on this apply click apply click finish now if you run the query you can see that the record has been inserted so now if you go to the postman and when you click when you click the send button you can expect that the employee records which is this all right our application is working fine uh, in the next video we are going to write the other methods in the DAO classes so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video